guys, and welcome back to So That's Gaming. Um, it's been a while since we've done a video here, so I figured you know, now's better, no, no better time like the present, right? So uh, I've just been kind of kicking back and focusing on work, and I've had surgery and been all kinds of stuff going on lately. But anyways, enough about that. Um, I've noticed that I've been having a few questions about installing DLC and having uh, people are having errors getting their DLC to work properly. Um, and then other people having a problem getting their wrap files installed using React PSN. So, um, go on log in here and let's go and switch over to the computer real quick. Here you'll see, this is my USB drive that I use for installing packages and my, um, uh, wrap files. So I have two folders here, my packages folder, which is, uh, we're going to use my Mega Man 9 packages to go install. Here's the main game and the associated DLC for that game. Um, and I only added my wrap files for that game. This is the main file right here and this is all the DLC wrap files. And they're all in the X data folder. Um, I don't know if these folders are case sensitive, but I've always made them lowercase and it seems to work out for me just fine. Alright, so let's go ahead and switch back over to the PlayStation. And we're going to install our USB drive into the rightmost USB port. And from here, we're going to go ahead and go to our package manager and choose the install packages from the package directory, which is located on my USB drive. Now, another reason I decided to use this game is because it's relatively small compared to some of the uh, much larger titles that are like multiple gigs in size. With this being only 63 megs, it can install a little bit quicker. So, we'll let this install. <clears throat> okay. So, let's go down here. Alright, so after that package is installed, we're going to go ahead and we're going to switch the accounts. Now, after if, if you've never ran React PSN before, you're going to create a new user, and you're going to call that user AA. And after you create it, we're going to go and log on to AA, and from this account, we will run React PSN. Um, I'm not sure this. No, I don't know the significance of the account name AA or why it's AA. I don't know. Don't ask. And so from here, uh, you don't have to do anything special. Just go down to React PSN and just hit X and let it run. And what this is going to do is going to scan your USB drive for your X data folder. And any wrap files that are in that folder, they're going to go ahead and install it straight to your system. After it's all done, it will reboot your console after the install is successful. So let's let it go ahead and do that and we'll pick up from there. All right, so here we are. Now, if this was your very first time running the React PSN um, uh, program, uh, after you run it for the first time it reboots, you'll see you'll have a new user account called React PSN. Um, just leave this where it is. Um, I tried installing new wrap files by running it from this account and it doesn't seem to work. You have to go back to AA. Now the first time you run it, this user account will be changed or removed, deleted or whatever, or renamed to React PSN. With new wrap files, just create this AA um, like a user again and it will always be there after that once this is created. Anyways, let's go ahead and go log back into my PlayStation here and we're going to go over to back to the game and then we're going to go all the way down and launch Mega Man and you'll see that it will launch successfully without any you know licensing 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 errors so there we go okay now that our game is launched, uh, we're going to go ahead and go to the main game menu and uh, choose Game Start. Um, I had to reduce the volume of the game because it was like really loud and I had to do a voiceover. But in the Game Start menu, you'll notice that there are two items that are all question marks. These is where your DLC will show up. So let's go ahead and quit and get that working. Now, when I ran the React PSN, 
it went ahead and installed all the RAT files, whether the, the game was or the software was installed or not. So we won't have to run that again this time around. I mean, technically, you could just install all the packages all at once, but this is for you know educational and demonstration purposes. So let's go and install these real quick. Just give me a few moments. And last but not least, all right, our five DLCs for Mega Man 9 have been installed. So let's go ahead and relaunch the game and we'll demonstrate that the DLCs have been installed and they are working correctly. All right, getting back into the game, we're going to go back to the game start menu and go to new game. And here you'll see the DLC that's been installed. Um, as you see, there's only four of them, but the fifth one was a special stage. I'm not exactly sure how to launch that. So let's go ahead and launch hero mode and I'll demonstrate that the DLC is in fact working. So there it is. Um, I hope you guys found this useful and, uh, as a refresh for React PSN and how to install you, all of your all your packages, their wrap files, and the associated DLC with said titles. So if you guys find this video helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up and let me know what you thought about it in the comment section below. And if you haven't already done so, be sure and click that subscribe button. Get subscribed and keep coming back for more videos. And if you want to be a part of that notification squad, be sure and click that bell icon. That way you'll always be notified whenever there's a new upload and you'll never miss any more of my content. Thanks for your time and thanks. I hope you guys enjoyed watching and we'll see you next time. See ya.